Hey creative crowd, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you an easy trick how to create magic light in any kind of photo. So this is our starting situation and this is where we will end up. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer from Vienna, Austria and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Thank you for that and let's get started. So let's delete our adjustment group and we have this light situation. It's a nice picture, but the light is not great. It's completely overexposed, stuff like that. So to fix this, what we're going to do is we create an adjustment layer down here for curves. And then we want to pull this down to make the picture really dark. And I would suggest that you look for a point in the picture, for example, in this case, the floor where you want to have the ideal light. So you bring it down until this area looks good. So I would say around here. Good. So the rest of the picture now is too dark and still the light doesn't feel really interesting. So what we're going to do about that is we are going to create another adjustment layer again for curves. And this time I'm going to set it extremely bright. The reason for that is because I want to see what I'm going to do in the next steps that I'm showing you. And I could now paint onto the mask that is included in that adjustment layer, but I don't want to do that because I want to use the same mask on multiple layers. So what we're going to do is we're going to click down here to create an extra mask layer. And then we go up here to the layer options and invert that. So now the effect is not visible anymore. And we will make it visible again by using our brush, set it to a good size, Good big size, maybe a little bit bigger than that. Let's go here. And you have, of course, to go by your image resolution. That's important. Set the hardness very low and also the flow pretty low. Uh, experiment with that to your taste. And now we want to set the color to white and then we can paint into the areas where we want to have more light. So, for example, around the windows here and back there and around our light up here and here. And of course, I also want to highlight these areas because I want to have more attention on these areas. So let's paint on that. I'm actually painting on a pixel layer, so that's not good. <laughs> we have to select the mask layer. So let's do that again. There we go. And there we go. And back here and around our lights. And this area should be brighter and this area should be brighter. And then I also want to highlight the chairs and I want to have a little bit more light here in the middle. And this does not look good at all because we still have to adjust our brightness. So we can see here, if I now double click on my curve again, we can turn the lights up and down any way we want. And this is really cool because now we can really adjust where we want to have interesting light in our picture and create a really interesting atmosphere. And of course, you can always go in with the brush and create more light in there. Okay. So the next thing I would suggest you do is right click on the mask and duplicate it and pull it out and then create another adjustment layer, this time for white balance and pull the mask onto the white balance adjustment layer. And this will help us that we can now, as you can see here, adjust the light color just in the areas where we have added new light because we probably want these areas to be a little bit more warm than the other areas where there is less light, like it is in real life if we have nice light. Uh, it looks a bit warmer and also draws more attention, uh, feels more interesting to look at. So you can see here, if I turned it on and off, it's, a, it's just a slight uh, difference, a slight change, but it really has impact and makes the picture, the light a little bit more magical. And the last thing that you could do, you don't have to do that, but you can do that is click on live filters, Gaussian blur in this case, um, click on preserve alpha and then um, bring in a little bit of blur. Let's see. And the blur is adjusted to the white balance. That's not good. So we have to drag it out. So it's on its own. And now we can actually see the blur in here. So um, yeah, we can do it like that just a little bit. And then again, 
With the Gaussian blur layer selected, go to layer invert so it's not visible anymore and then we paint on some of the areas maybe a little bit around here by the windows and it's a very slight effect but it makes a little bit of a nice soft glow if we go in here you can see if I turn it off the picture is very sharp if I turn it on there's a little bit of blur around around the light that makes it a little bit more dreamy so it's a very soft effect you can apply that but you don't have to okay let's go to our second picture and do the same thing here uh, so let's go in here curves and pull this down to make the picture pretty dark and you can see again which kind of area do I want to be in a perfect light? So probably the table should be in a good light and the billiard balls up here and also this automat here in the background. So these kind of areas here should have an interesting light while we want to hide these other areas in the picture. Okay, again, we create a second layer with curves. There we go, pull it up really high. And then we are going to create a mask layer. So this time, as you can see, I go a little bit faster because I already have explained all the steps in the first go through. And again, let's switch to white as a color and paint on the areas that we actually want to have. So over here and a little bit back here where this automat machine is with the nice light. Then we go back into the curves and pull this down. That was the wrong one. Pull this down to make the light softer. And we can now adjust what kind of light we want to have. So uh, maybe bring it here. That looks good. Okay, duplicate our mask layer. Duplicate, drag it out, create a white balance. Pull the mask onto the white balance and we could try to make the light a little bit warmer like this and you can see it again looks pretty interesting. And this time I will not do the blur layer. Um, like I said, it's optional anyways. Let's put all of this into a group and you can see when we turn it off and on the picture looks a lot more interesting. We have created a guiding light that draws the attention of the viewer and the whole picture looks a lot more magical and interesting because we actually created light that, uh, how can I say, supports the story of the image. So that's the most important part of that lecture. Create light that supports the story, guides the eye, makes the picture more interesting to look at and more balanced. Okay. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.